you know what's sweeter than a win in a 100-meter race? Sugar. You might think they're miles apart, but today we're going to show you how the journey of that sweet teaspoon of sugar turns into raw, powerful energy that fuels your race to the finish line. Intrigued? Let's get started. Welcome back, everyone. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode of your favorite fitness corner on the internet. Now, let's dive into today's topic, sugar, the misunderstood power pack. We've all heard the usual rhetoric. Sugar is bad, sugar makes you fat, sugar is addictive. But how many of us know what really happens when we take a bite of a sugar-rich dessert? How does that sweet substance actually convert into energy that helps you push through your toughest workouts or even just make it through a regular day? When you consume something sweet, digestion starts as soon as the food hits your mouth. Salivary enzymes start working on the sugars, breaking down complex carbohydrates into simpler compounds. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As the food passes into the stomach, it's mixed with gastric juices, a cocktail of acid and enzymes, and the sugars are broken down further into more manageable, simpler sugars, primarily glucose. This glucose is then transported into the small intestine, the place where most of our nutrients are absorbed. From the small intestine, the glucose is absorbed into your bloodstream, which causes your blood sugar levels to rise. This triggers your pancreas to jump into action, releasing a hormone that you've likely heard of, insulin. You can think of insulin as the key that unlocks the cells in your body, allowing glucose to enter them. This turns your cells into glucose processing machines, where glucose is converted into the energy that powers your cells. This energy, however, isn't just used to help you scroll through social media faster. When you're exercising, lifting weights, running, or doing any strenuous activity, your muscles use this glucose to generate the power needed for these activities. However, not all glucose is immediately used up for energy. Some of it is stored in your muscles and liver in the form of glycogen. Consider glycogen as your body's emergency fuel reserve. So, when you're crushing your final set at the gym or sprinting that last mile, your body taps into these glycogen stores, converting it back into glucose to keep your muscles going. Now you might wonder. What happens if I consume too much sugar? Well, your body will need to deal with all that excess glucose. This extra glucose can be converted into fat, leading to weight gain. So, while it's true that sugar provides energy, too much of it can tip the balance and lead to unnecessary weight gain and other health issues. Watch our video on 12 Symptoms That You Are Consuming Too Much Sugar. In short, these are the other side effects of consuming excess sugar. Constant cravings, low energy levels, frequent colds, flu, skin breakouts, dental problems, brain fog, mood swings, high blood pressure, joint pain, and sleeping issues. Here's the takeaway. Sugar isn't the evil that it's often portrayed to be. It all comes down to how much you consume and when you consume it. Pre-workout sugar can fuel your exercise, but overindulging can lead to undesirable consequences. Moderation and timing are the keys when it comes to sugar intake. And that, my friends, is the sweet and not-so-sweet journey of sugar in our bodies. If you found this video informative and useful, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Got a burning question or a topic you'd like me to delve into next? Drop a comment below. Remember, every step you take in your fitness journey is a step in the right direction. Stay active, stay aware, and keep powering forward. Until next time, take care and keep fit.